Mike Smith working it into Avery. This time with a right hand, misses but Crossland's in. Steal here for Connell Crossland. He'll take it to the rim. Draw the foul and got the. Had 50 in a game at Centenary one time. Monagle has his shot blocked. Comes off into the hands of Crossland, who's in. Monagle hanging out over in the corner. He can shoot the three. Anderson, here's Crosland. Nice movement of the lane for Connell Crosland. Maybe stick into that zone, Brian. They're not going to get out of it. Baseline for Crosland. Oh, no. Key and Anderson lend again. They'll pull up off the glass. Too strong, but a nice follow for Connell. See the main bucket and a little three-quarter court pressure applied by Navy afterwards. Crosland flashes through. ...on Tayshawn Thomas, but he has played sparingly here in this second half. Uh, really been a non-factor. Connell Crosland zone out of Houston, John. We've seen that out of every opponent this year, starting with Prairie View, is Connell Crosland. To Thompson for three, no. Then McKinney with the rebound. Butler Lind in the lane. Nice pass. Crosland will finish. And they turn it over again. 19 turnovers to the hole. Scoop and scoop. Nice pass on the inside. McKinney can't finish it out again. Rebound. Put and now TCU can take the lead for the first time. Nice no-look pass inside. And going back down to right. He loses the handle. Here comes Anderson. Nice pass. Slam dunk with a left. Here's Green. High post catch for Crosland. Butler Lynn baseline. Nice pass to Connell to finish. McKinney spins. Turn around. Too strong. Connell Crosland there. Well, he's double teamed in the lane. We've seen him turn himself sideways and just yep. sliver through the defense to get that bucket. He's got 14 points to lead the, down the Garland Green. Yeah, they're trying to get everything through Usher. He's their big scorer, but the Frogs do a good job holding him off. Nice look there from McKinney to find. He in waiting for this offense to get started. Forces one from the right wing. Too strong tip follow for Connell Crosland. Yeah. There for Devontae Avery. Yeah, again, another Red Raider getting into the lane easily. There's Connell Crosland. Green for the free throw line. Garland just off the mark. There's Connell Crosland high for the foul. Nice job there defensively. Garland Green. That pace is quickening here. These teams are running. Anderson with the alley oop. There's the foul. His own miss and a reset of the shot clock for TCU. Kean Anderson fires a three that is no good. But well, that was Adric McKinney, the uh, big six eight youngster for TCU. Finish and McKinney right into a double team. Needs some help. Throws a skip pass. Nice ball movement. Crossland through a couple of defenders. Anderson picks up his dribble in the lane and somehow he was almost out there by the tee in the TCU. He really was. Anderson whips it into the corner to Green. No. Here comes Anderson. Crossland. Good. Folks, Isaiah Austin up to the three-point line, whereas Pierre Jackson, he was ready to find. The Big 12 is no exception. And so it's just getting ready for that next basketball game. Crossland, wow! When you look at Austin, do you see him as a true center? Or do you see him? So no points for Longhorns on that possession, and Crossland gets it. Ridley, already with three blocks, almost got another, and there's a good tip in the rear. Nice inbounds play. 18 to shoot, Green, forcing. Right. Let him rip. Well, you know, he's got that kind of talent that he can get easy ones, and when things break down, it's nice to have a guy that can go ahead and get his own. Crossland, bucket. Ian Anderson. Underneath, Crossland. You know, once they gain some maturity of playing in Bob Huggins' system and playing in the Big 12. Crossland on TCU. Mitch Holtis with you, along with Dan Hughes in Fort Worth. The Horn Frogs coming off that gigantic upset of Kansas. Crossland, all kinds of contact, and an and one opportunity.
Crossland, top of the key, big, giant move into the paint. I see that they take pride in the spark that they bring off the bench for Oklahoma. Good ball move. Clark was that close to get. He's adapted, Dave, to knocking down shots with less playing time. Crossland, that was a good move, and he got inside on Neal. You look at this lineup, though, right now. For McKinney, and now it's Anderson in and out. Bodies up high. Crossland puts it back up. One frogs have numbers if they want to push. Crossland, good ball fake to lay it in. And makes per game and by percentage. Inside post for Crossland, the lefty jump hook. Abram with the left hand, just too hard, but the follow. Forcing again TCU to shoot from the outside. Anderson hit McCurley. Much still in that discussion. Particularly if Kansas can win the lead. Abron, and that's what Crossland did. Twice have they taken attempts with 15 seconds or less on their possession. Contact, no call. And the tip in. That's been the case all year long. Trip Johnson's offense, it's, it's been effective. The difference is they're making these buckets like that. M by back into the lineup now. 940 to go here this first half. There's Connell cutting again. Abron, green on the run out into Cousins this time. Missed the layup, but a nice follow there. We're going back inside with the big guy. Yeah, Oklahoma averages some 17 points more per game than TCU. Nice big for Garland. Do a good start to take care of the basketball. You recall a month ago in Norman, Sooners just ran off and left the frog. And Crosland scores. Most improved Horn Frog. Baseline turnaround jumper does it go. There's Crosland for the put back. Foul here is on hold. Right at his average since he's been back playing. Crossland and one. Hold. When you were on that five slam a jamma team, you took on TCU, didn't you, in the Southwest Conference Tournament? The year we lost to NC State. So